Hey guys, welcome back to another tech tip and in today's video I'm going to show you how to set up a backup schedule on your computer. Check it out. Just a quick disclosure before we go ahead and get started. This is on Windows 10 and you will need some other form of drive in order to make this backup happen. So in this case I do have an internal one terabyte drive I can use but I've also got a Western Digital MyBook 4 terabyte that I have plugged into a USB 3.0 port that will allow me to use as a backup drive. So once you have that, then you can go ahead and proceed with the steps. First thing that you're going to want to do is go down into your start menu and type the word backup and you're going to notice an option come up that says backup settings. Left click on that. It's going to open up a new window where it's going to say backup using file history. Add a drive. I'm going to left click on add a drive. You may want to determine once you've got your drive plugged in what letter it is. Usually it will tell you. Um, in this case, I'm going to use my MyBook, which is that external drive, the four terabyte external drive that I was just telling you about. I'm going to left click on it. Computer will uh, go through and it will automatically enable autom automatically backup my files. Now you can toggle this on and off as you need to. But the main thing that I want you guys to look at today is click on the more options. And what this is going to do is it's going to bring you into the advanced settings where you can see how often you want your backup files to be made, how long you want to keep those backup files, and then of course what files that you want to go through and back up. So before you buy a drive, you're going to want to determine what type or what size of the files are that you're trying to back up just to make sure that you have enough space and then you, of course you want to buy something that's bigger so you have room to grow as you make those backups. So again, you can change how often, how long to keep the backups, what files to back up, and then if you scroll down at the bottom, you can actually option or you can actually include excluded files. So if you have something in documents, but you have a folder in documents that uh, just, you know, could be like sensitive information or something like that, then you can go in and you can exclude that specific folder. So where it will back up all of your documents except for that particular folder. So that's a good option to have. And then of course, if you ever want to change the drive, you can go in, click on stop using drive, and then that will allow you to set up a new drive in order to create the new backups on there. So just to kind of show you that I've got everything all set up. These are all the default settings, by the way. And of course, if you click on backup files, you can change it from every 10 minutes to every day. And then as far as keep my backups, you've got until space is needed. So basically, as soon as it detects that it's full, it should start going through and basically overwriting, which could be a good thing or a bad thing. Um, or you can go through and keep them all the way up to forever. Of course, if you click on add a folder, it's going to want you to navigate to that folder that you want to include in the backup. And then, of course, if you go into the drive itself, you're actually going to see that it has created a new folder that says file history. And in that file history folder is where your backups are stored. So you want to make sure if you ever do clean out that drive, not to delete that file, otherwise you're going to delete your backups. How do you restore once you've got your backups? So if you come on down to the very bottom, it'll say restore files from a, ba a current backup. Left click on that. What it's going to do is it's going to bring up a history page of all of the backups that it has currently created. In this case, I haven't actually made a backup with this, with this particular drive. So I don't actually have copies that you can click on, but what you normally do, it would give you the file history. You'd left click on the date or the, the uh, time that you would want to back up from, click on it, click OK, and then it would perform its process. Hey everyone, thanks for watching that tech tip. Hope you liked it. If you found the video useful or informative, give it a like, give it a share, leave any kind of comment or feedback in the comment section below the video. And of course, question of the day, what kind of backup methods do you use? Leave your answer in the comment section and we will see you next time.